Here is a woman by the, well, I assume she's a woman. She looks like a woman to me, but she might have a penis. Who knows anymore? Uh, her name is Jessie Pocock. <laughs> a woman by the name of Jessie Pocock. Uh, she is the CEO and executive director of Inside Out Youth Services Advocacy Organization. Uh, and she was being questioned on C-SPAN about whether parents have rights related to their children going through these processes and whether parents should know that their kids are on hormones, et cetera. Uh, once again, we are doing a trans segment here and the expert, her name is Jessie Pocock. Pocock. Person is safe and protected. We have, uh, we are constantly filing reports of abuse and neglect because of Parents I, I understand the cases of, of uh, it sounds are. like you're deflecting the question a little bit. Uh, I understand cases of abuse. There's laws to protect the abuse. I mean, schools actually are legally obligated to report cases of abuse, mm -hmm. same for churches and, and the like, anyone who deals with young people. But, uh, you know, do parents have a right? Should they be informed about what's going on? Do they have a right to know what's going on in their kids' lives? So I think, again, those of us who are protecting and supporting young people are there and trusted with the information of the things that they are dealing with. In terms of parents' rights to know at schools, I mean, here in Colorado, parents don't have the right. If a young person is questioning their gender or their sexuality, okay. there are laws in place that say that they have the right to process that with their trusted counselor so, so you do, and so forth. You do a significant amount of your work with kids even starting at age 13. Yeah. Uh, what what would be the age of consent then in your in your mind? Uh, in our community, the age of consent to mental health therapy is twelve years old. So the woman who wants to talk to your children about transitioning and sexuality and everything else, just one more time. Her name is Mrs. Pocock. Could have been Mocock or Lescock. That would have made more sense. <laughs> She believes that, uh, as she said, that we have people who are protecting and supporting kids. Um, I could have sworn that was the job of the parent. I don't want Pocock talking to my children. Pocock will not come near my children. And Pocock shouldn't come near your children. Do you think that there's any chance, as, as the representative laid out there? So she thinks a 13-year-old can walk into her office and ask about um, puberty blockers, surgery, et cetera, et cetera. Do you think there is any chance that when that happens, so let's, let's say it's a girl, I did a boy last time, so let's say it's a girl, right? So a little girl comes in and she says, you know, I feel like a boy, I feel, I'm 13 years old, I feel like a boy, I, I like baseball, I don't really like dresses, whatever. Do you think there's any chance in high hell that Pocock and her minions say, you know what, actually you're just going through a phase and by the way, there are some girls that like baseball and sometimes they turn out to be lesbians, sometimes not. There, you know, there's a whole spectrum of things. These are the people who love like the whole spectrum and diversity and equality of everything and all that stuff. But for some reason with gender and sex, if you feel a little bit different, if you're not freaking, you know, nail polish blonde and doing your thing, then you are automatically a dude. It, it, it's absolutely crazy and these people should have nothing to do with anyone else's children. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go Brandon.